The world has changed for asset managers. They're now expected to maintain the digital asset as well as the physical asset. Where that responsibility is written into contracts, the liabilities can be substantial. If the digital record wasn't correct at handover, the FM needs to alert the client to any discrepancies because in many cases it isn't possible to make corrections in any cost-effective way. To some extent, this is caused by a misunderstanding about what a BIM model is. It's a data model that should include all of the information about a building, including where things are and how they relate to each other. There's a perception that design and construction teams create and work on a single BIM model and everything gets produced from that coordinated 3D model. It's often called one version of the truth, but in practice, that's not the case. Just as the physical asset is created by different specialists providing their packages and assembling them into a single coordinated or federated building or a room, those same specialists now have to provide a digital version of what they've installed and those individual files need to be federated into a single coordinated digital representation of the physical building. Each designer or specialist supplier creates their own individual BIM models and somebody coordinates or federates dozens of individual models. There are some great tools that support the BIM managers in getting that right from a geometric perspective, but it's much more difficult to check that the data is right. The BIM community uses an international standard called IFC to manage data and the subset for handover to asset management is called COBE. In practice, the handover information on most BIM projects comprises a federated 3D model, a COBE spreadsheet, which may not have the right data, and that makes it difficult to connect to the assets in the 3D model. The O&M manual should include the specifications and the product data of what was installed, but it's typically divorced from the model and the COBE data. ActivePlan's asset information model resolves this and forms a starting point for a digital twin.